This video explains how to use a Flexbase report and the possible components of a report. For this, we use a self made demo report called Demo Overview. A report mostly consists of several widget types. A widget is a visual component. It can retrieve data through data source proxies. In this example, they are of type Markdown Text, Time Series Line, Table, Pi, Donut, as well as Categorize Bar. Typically, two filter mechanisms are available for a report the time selector and the context filters. To define a time span for which you want to see data in the report, click the time selector to open the selection menu. Either select one of the predefined time spans or the time span in the calendar. If the report does not show any data, it may be because the system did not receive any data for the specified time span. The context filter is selectable in the so-called Omnibar. Click to display the available context types and their items. In the example, there is one context type named Region and its items EMEA, Americas and APJ. A context can be considered as a parameter. Currently, no item is selected. Click Close. The time series line charts, the table as well as the Pi, the donut and the bar chart are configured to show data related to a region. As no region is selected, all regions are shown in these widgets. The markdown widget is the text widget. Selecting a particular region in the omnibar, for example EMEA, affects all widgets which are linked to the context region, except for the bar chart. In the table, it's filtered by EMEA. In the four other widgets, it's highlighted. Adding Americas as the second filter in the Omnibar, the data is updated in all widgets related to the context region. Filtering within one of these widgets has the same effect. Let's add APJ as the third filter in addition to Americas and EMEA, for example in the time series line chart. These three regions are highlighted in this chart, as well as in the Pi and Donut chart. The table shows the data for the three selected regions. When all regions, except for APJ, get unselected in the pie chart, four widgets highlight the result for APJ, while the table shows APJ data only. Let's unselect APJ. So far, we use the Omnibar in the legend for highlighting the graphs of the selected region or regions. Let's have a look at the graph itself. When hovering over the graph, a tooltip pops up, showing the data for the different regions. When the cursor is placed on the line chart of one particular region, only this chart will be displayed. When I click on the chart, the context item, in this case EMEA, is selected, which you can see both in the legends and in the omnibar. By clicking the double arrow icon linked to a widget, you can drill down to another page. The typical use case is that you drill down from a widget that provides overall data as part of an overview page to a page offering more details on this data. The selected context will be transferred to the drill down page. One possibility is to drill down from the top right of a widget to a page. While the widget you drill down from shows the average percentage of the CPU utilization, the drill down page offers more details regarding this type of data. It provides the equivalent minimum, maximum, and percentile values as well. With this drill down, a typical top down approach is taken. In the masthead, you see the path you have navigated to get to the drill down page. The path is called workflow. In the workflow, click on demo overview to get back to the overview page. You can also drill down from the legend of the time series line widgets, the Pi and the Donut widget. Although EMEA is selected, APJ will be transferred as context to the drill down page as we click on the double arrow icon for APJ in the legend of the left time series line widget. We see the same drill down page as previously, but now based on the context item APJ instead of EMEA.
Let's once again go back to the overview page. Now EMEA is chosen as it was selected for the demo overview report before. In the table, you can also drill down using the links in certain columns. In our example, the links in the column region. The double arrow drill down icon can also appear at the end of the workflow. Based on the context used in the current page, the system offers a drill down to related pages. Pages that have the same context combination provided you have permission to access them. You can use these to look at related reports if needed. Let's select the last report from the list, which again provides more details as the overview report. This video introduces the key components of a Flex report. It shows how to apply filters and how to navigate to drill down pages. Thanks for watching. See our Optic video library for more videos around Optic and Flex reporting. You can find the link in the video description.